welcome back. So, sorry it's been a while. Uh, had a lot of work on, as you do. Need to pay for projects somehow. So, today I'm going to take you through brakes. Now, pretty important things are brakes. Uh, you're making your car faster, you want to make it stop properly as well. The standard brakes on the Mini are okay. You, you know, the, the Cooper brakes and the uh, 8.4 8, 8 inch uh, discs are fine for a normal car. But you know, again, if you're going to be doing track days, um, if you want a you know, fast road car or whatever, they're just not really up to the job. Now, of course, Austin thought about this when they released the Metro Turbo, and they put on four pot calipers. I'll show you close-ups of these in a sec. These are reconditioned ones, I've reconditioned them myself. Um, so you've got your four pot calipers, and you've also got, of course, on the front, you want um, vented discs to get the heat out quicker. On the back, you can go for disc conversions, but they're pretty expensive and to be honest, not really needed for road use. Um, you'd be best off really with just a set of mini fins, uh, which are alloy, alloy drums. Um, you can put some posh shoes in there as well if you want to, but as long as you make sure they're working efficiently, the rear brakes should be adequate. Um, even the steel, steel drums are okay, but again, they, they do build up heat, so if you're doing track days, I wouldn't. Right, let's have a look at, uh, let's look at the calipers themselves first, shall we? So, this is, now, you will see there are two distinctly different types here. Um, I'm not entirely sure why, if I'm honest. Anyway, this is a uh, Metro Turbo caliper that I've stripped completely uh, in the blast cabinet, so it's been sandblasted. Um, it's been cleaned out, degreased, and that's ready for paint. Now you'll notice it's the same profile here and here. Um, so there's no space between these two. <coughs> this gap here, of course, allows for the width of your vented brake disc. This one, which I've conveniently one I made earlier, has an offset difference. Now, I'm not going to look into it, you can look into that, but yeah. So, this set has a spacer which goes in each side to make up the difference. Yeah, same, does the same job. Um, and they're also handed left and right. Reason being, they need to be the right way up. In this case, um, Yeah, sorry, here we go. Handed. Now this this is where your bleed nipple goes. And that must be at the top on both sides. If it's not, you'll never get the air out. Very important. So you'll note here, that's the brake nipple. <coughs> you'll also note, whoever developed these was clearly special. It's got three bleed nipples. Yes, three. There's one, one on the one side and two on the other. It's got two inputs with a link between the two. And then that goes up to uh, your, your, well, subframe. <sighs> Why? God knows. Anyway, they work. So uh, inside here, that's <coughs> where your pistons go now, you will find when you strip a set, because you, you'll probably find a set second hand on eBay for maybe 30, 50 quid, they'll be ratty as hell, totally caked in crap, rust, whatever. You'll need to get them stripped, but first you'll need to get the pistons out. Getting the pistons out can be a complete sod, putting it lightly, um, because they tend to rust in and the seals grab them once they've dried out. I end up using, on one set once, I had to pump the thing full of uh, grease from a grease gun that, that I put enough pressure through via hydraulic pressure to push them out. This set managed to get, uh, push out, I managed to push them out with compressed air uh, via the, uh, the, the inputs themselves. 
So yeah, there's various ways. I'm not going to go through that now because I've already I've already done it. Now I don't know if you can make this out on camera. Probably can't quite. Are we? Mm. No. Okay. Now in there you'll have one seal. One seal goes in about a centimetre or so, and there's another seal on the top edge to stop crap getting into that. So you've got that. Then over that seal there's a ring. All the seals are the same, so you get a set of um, eight for a car. Right, one thing I'll show you now, if you want your braided lines as well, they're expensive but, you know, if you're doing the job, do it properly. You may or may not be able to see here the corrosion around this edge. And, in this case, marks where I've had to pull the thing out with a wrench, um, mole grips. You might be very lucky and get them out marked unmarked, which this one is basically, but I can't put corroded pistons back in. Reason being, it'll destroy the seals very quickly, leak, and you're back, you're back having to rebuild the things. So, order yourself a set of stainless pistons. These just arrived today, actually. Um, I'll put a link in the uh, descriptions below uh, to say where to get this from. These are off eBay but they're a well-known company. Um, it's not one of your normal mini suppliers, they're a smaller supplier that do uh, machine work. But these will never rust, so they're in there for life. Okay, let's have a look at the car itself, shall we? So before we go there, I forgot to mention brake pads. You can get away with normal, normal brake pads, but I don't even know if you can get normal brake pads to fit these anymore so get yourself some decent pads these are EBC green stuff uh, low dust which is another bonus good well respected uh, pads these so really can't go wrong they're not stupid expensive either this sensor obviously just pulls out it's useless on the mini there's no uh, well, you could rig up some kind of light if you wanted to I suppose um, but I'm not going to I'll just keep an eye on the pads back down to the car Okay, let's have a look at the brakes then, shall we? So quite clearly here I've got a vented um, brake disc. I think they're EBC as well. Now there isn't much to see down here really that's different other than the fact that... Let me just bring the camera around slightly. The gap between the disc and the uh, mounting lobes, if you like, for the uh, brake calipers um, is essential. Now, well, in fact there's, there's a gap, it's smaller, even smaller there. So, what you need is offset flanges. If you note this flange here is in fact different. Let's get a better, better view, shall we? There we go. Note the difference in the thickness of the flange. What it basically does is offset the... Uh, by the way it fits, it, it brings out the whole wheel by about a centimetre. These flanges are available from, I think, Mini Sport. Um, could be wrong, it may be uh, Mini Spares, but they are available. Just look for um, Turbo or... Uh, Vented disc flanges. I think they're about 30 quid a piece. So they're essential. Um, still got to decrust and paint uh, the suspension clearly. Uh, but I've got down here the adjustable uh, tie rods and uh, bottom arms. So I can adjust my uh, caster and camber. Standard top arm. So if I've got here before but I've also got springs going in there instead of the donuts so uh, yeah coming along nicely well, that's breaks for today so see you next time